Hmm. Ships are also made of steel. So how come they can stay afloat? Hello. My name is Sigurd and I actually work on a ship, the Sena Donica, as a cruise host. But you know what? I still don't know how it works. Here to help us today is my colleague Lili. Lili is a naval architect and a boat expert. And she Actually, a ship expert. Ship, boat, tomato, tomato. What's the difference? Actually, there is a difference. A ship is a vessel that is both longer than 12 meters and wider than 4 meters. At Stena, we don't really have any boats. We have ships. Big ships. We have ferries. We have rowrows. We have row packs. We have. And of course, we have drill ships. But anyhow, they all float. Exactly. So, um, how does it work? Have you heard about Archimedes' principle? That's the Greek guy with the bathtub. Precisely. Let me illustrate. <sighs> no, I still don't understand. Here you have an empty can, and here you have a crushed can. And these are both made of metal like ships. And they both have the same mass. Oh, so this one floats and this one sinks? Yes, exactly. But you see, they have different volumes. So this one has a much larger volume. And the maximum amount of water that this one can displace is the amount of water that fits into this big volume. And it floats. Oh. But the maximum amount of water that this one can displace is only the amount of water which is equal to this small volume. The buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the water that the object displaces. And the force is directed upwards, so therefore it floats. So, in conclusion, ships with a large volume that are hollow float like this can, and ships that are crushed like this can sink. It's all really quite simple. Yes, but you know, there's a little bit more to it. You see, it needs to float right. And to do that, the shape of the hull is very important, the shape of the ship is very important, and we need stability, but not too much stability, and we need to be, be able to adjust it. You see, if you have a ferry which can transport 5,000 meters... We hope you've enjoyed this episode, and we're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. And without the car.